I'm a pediatric oncologist at the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine, and uh, I care for uh, children that have a variety of different blood disorders. Um, and I, uh, I run uh, a stem cell laboratory. I'm the uh, principal investigator of a stem cell laboratory at uh, the Institute for Cell Engineering at Johns Hopkins. And we study blood development, and we study um, stem cell biology, and we're interested in understanding um, how uh, stem cells uh, can be used for uh, therapies, as well as what they can teach us about um, uh, cancer, in particular leukemia. Well, we've recently learned that um, a, a small defined set of genetic factors can convert um, a skin cell or a blood cell back into a pluripotent state. That's a, a state where you can make any part of the body. And we're trying to understand um, how that works, why it works, and in particular, um, what that process can teach us about uh, understanding cancer. In particular, we're interested in figuring out um, why one type of cell uh, can be reprogrammed, that's the term that they use, reprogrammed, easier than other types of cells. Is there something special about um, the genetics of one type of cell that makes it easier to turn them back into an embryonic state than other types of cells? And um, do these processes, as mentioned, teach us anything about cancer and what happens when uh, um, a normal blood cell converts into a leukemia. Uh, we think that there are a lot of parallels. We think that there are a lot of uh, similar relationships between converting um, a normal blood cell back into an embryonic state and a normal blood cell becoming a leukemia.